So, Lou Elizondo is fighting back. The UAP task force report was leaked in part uh, to the press last week claiming that, uh, okay, so it wasn't U.S. technology, but it's probably Russia or China. Uh, they're, they're not saying it's aliens. They're not ruling out aliens, but they're definitely not leaning into the more exotic possibilities. But Lou is not satisfied with that. He and his people are on this, and they are pushing back. Let's get into it. Before we do, please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and as I'm talking about it, please comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, here's Lou on Tucker just a couple days ago. He's left now. He and his organization, Skyford, have obtained a government document that proves the advanced Tic Tac UFO has been tracked by American military intel services for at least 70 years. Okay, we'll get back to that later, maybe in another video. And Tucker says, Lou and his organization, Skyfort. So Lou has a new organization, a new group that he belongs to. Uh, you know, it used to be TTSA, now it's Skyfort. What is that? That's much earlier than we thought. Lou Elizondo joins us tonight. Lou, thanks so much for coming on. Tucker, um, always a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. I want to ask you about this document of first before I ask you about the, the upcoming report. What is the, what does this document you've obtained show us? Well, this is a document that was obtained through the Freedom of Information Act, and it demonstrates quite clearly that we have had issues with these, if you will, these UAPs or UFOs in the vernacular for, for at least 70 years, at least since 1950, probably earlier. And this is official U.S. government correspondence. This isn't some eyewitness report from, from a civilian. This is official government documentation from military personnel to very senior military brass. And what it says is very quite compelling that, look, we've had a lot of military and intelligence eyewitnesses to include special agents uh, and scientists, and all of them are seeing these things. And more importantly, the frequency uh, has occurred on a regular and continu continuing basis over sensitive uh, U.S. military facilities. And this has been occurring, Tucker, again, since 1950, uh, according to official U.S. government documentation. So, so think about that for a minute. And here he is on CNN saying the same thing. Look at this. We also look at the context of the U.S. government's involvement in this topic historically. And so there is truly documentation now that is coming forward. Some of my team uh, members have, have been able to uncover through the FOIA process. And that also, by the way, has been available for quite some time that demonstrates that the U.S. government has actually indeed been dealing with this issue for over 70 years. And that's a little bit problematic, because if we say this is foreign adversarial technology, we know that the Russians, after the Berlin Wall came down, had shared a lot of their UFO files with us. And so we know... Anyway, so it's not, you see, he's saying it's not the Russians, it's not the Chinese, and these Tic Tac-like objects have been seen since at least 1950. I downloaded the file, uh, it's like 150 pages, uh, this report uh, that they FOIA'd, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's slow reading, but it is also fascinating. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, but, yeah, it clearly, clearly shows that people, uh, you know, in many instances have seen these objects that can roughly be called tic-tac-like objects. They don't use those terms, but the way they describe it, lozenge-shaped, it looks like a big gas tank, a big white gas tank. So they, they describe it in, in different ways. Uh, but it is uh, roughly corresponds to what we think of as the Tic Tac. So uh, they have seen these things since at least 1950, if not before. So any explanation for them uh, has to account for that. So it's highly unlikely to be China or Russia or, you know, whoever. Uh, it's, not, it's not Japan. It's not Mexico. And uh, the UAP task force report, one thing that it does do is very clearly state that it is not U.S. tech. It is not some secret project. And that is actually what they have been saying since uh, 1952 when the, uh, you know, General Sanford came out with his uh, press conference uh, saying that, yeah, it's not us. Uh, we don't know what it is, but it's not us. And he said... Uh, specifically that, you know, most of these sightings had a mundane explanation, but there were a few that did not. And that seems to be what the UAP task force report is going to say. Oh, we don't think it's aliens, but we can't identify what it is. 
So what is it? It's very frustrating that we haven't made any progress on this issue publicly since 1952 when General Sanford came out with that uh, press conference. They were saying the same thing they did 70 years ago, that there are some that we can't identify and we don't know what it is. I call BS. There are so many witness accounts of the government, uh, government people interacting with these entities that it is hard to believe that at least some compartment within the government does not know what's going on. And it is that compartment which is stymieing the efforts of people like Lou Elizondo and his faction, his pro-disclosure faction, from coming out with the truth. Now, do they have any influence on the UAP task force? Are they, you know, limiting what they can release? I don't know. It could be that the UAP task force represents the mainstream government that is, it is, that is not clued in on the, the bubble that exists within the government, you know, according to me, uh, the, you know, Area 51, the breakaway group that uh, knows about all of this and is actually interacting with the phenomenon. Anyway, so it's just frustrating that we haven't made any progress since 1952 that the government doesn't seem to trust us any more than they did in 1952 when some aspects of the government definitely knew what was going on, but they weren't going to allow uh, people like General Sanford to come out with the truth. I mean, really? No progress since 1952? We haven't made any progress as a soci society since then to demonstrate that we can handle at least some limited disclosure. I am so insulted by that, uh, you know, with all due respect to the people of 1952, but a society does advance, uh, typically. I mean, you know, let's be real, we're not in the greatest place right now, but at least I think that we have demonstrated that uh, we can handle a little chaos. <laughs> After the events of the last few years, having something else to worry about, some alien threat, uh, could actually uh, be a welcome relief instead of dealing with human enemies and, you know, uh, terrestrial concerns like viruses, uh, then at least we would have something other to worry about and uh, to potentially deal with in hopefully a friendly way. That's what Reagan said back in the 80s was that wouldn't it be great if there were an alien threat to unite humanity? Well, you know, we could use a little uniting. But instead, the government is still standing in the way of progress, standing in the way of people uniting over this issue, and I, for one, am sick of it. I think Lou Elizondo and his people are sick of it, too, and I am so happy that he is pushing back on this, uh, going on Fox, going on CNN, making the rounds, saying these things have been in the skies since at least 1950, and continuously since then, and any explanation has to account for that. It's not the Russians, it's not the Chinese, apparently it's not us, at least some of it's not us. I don't know how clued in Lou is on the whole Area 51 stuff. I absolutely, I absolutely believe that some of this stuff is us. I believe that we have been working with the phenomenon, call it what you want, the extraterrestrials, ultra-terrestrials, whatever the visitors are. I believe that we have been working, or some compartment of the government has been working with them uh, for, for a long time and uh, has been exchanging technology or receiving technology in exchange for who knows what, um, you know, permission to abduct, I don't know. You know, that's the one persistent rumor. Uh, but at any rate, I, I believe that we are working with them and uh, that this group is going to stand in the way of any disclosure uh, potentially because the visitors don't want disclosure at this time. I mean, there's a reason the visitors haven't landed on the White House lawn. It's because they don't want to land on the White House lawn. If the visitors wanted disclosure, we would have disclosure. Now, maybe there's a very good reason why they haven't landed on the White House lawn. Maybe they are trying to awaken us slowly. They're trying to have an organic process of raising our consciousness and our awareness. So this silence and this, uh, you know, debunking of the issue uh, could have a perfectly uh, reasonable and innocent explanation. But until they come out and tell us, we are not going to know. And we can only assume 
they are hiding this for nefarious reasons. I mean, in order for this, you know, conspiracy to exist, uh, in order for this, uh, you know, breakaway civilization to exist, then humans will have had to have access to some very high level technology. We're talking ener energy devices that could power the world, that could transform society. And that may be the problem. Maybe the powers that be don't want society transformed. You know, the energy companies would lose their power. Literally. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, that's my take on all this for the moment. I plan to do a follow-up video uh, analyzing Skyfort a little bit. Uh, Lou Elizondo's new uh, company or new group that he's associated with. Uh, so that is very intriguing to me. Uh, uh, meanwhile, I want you to check out the Black Lotus Productions. I was a, a guest on their most recent uh, show last night, uh, Sunday the, the 6th, and uh, we had a, a good, a good uh, panel discussion of the UAP Task Force report, or the, the leaked uh, portions of it that have come out. I was privileged to be part of that panel, and I hope to do it again. I will include a link. Uh, to that panel discussion below. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this. Please hit subscribe and the bell next to it. Until next time, Cosmic Road out.